Hello, this is me. You'll probably recognize me more on this one. And I was the director for Where Is My Mind? Well, I'm still is. Where Is My Mind? It's a title of the film and it's a question because it's confusing, hopefully entertaining, psychological drama with thriller elements. I finally found a way to describe a genre for our film. It is a hybrid of few. Drama, thriller, suspense. I can talk more about the genres and genre theory, but in this vlog I will try to answer a question whether I actually managed to keep my creative vision as a director in the student production. My original question for the report I did in the beginning of the year was this. How can I keep my creative vision as a director in the student production? Well, that's a tough one. Not the question itself, but to actually keep a vision in the team where most of the people are proactive and everyone wants to make sure that their particular vision is seen and presented on screen. Answering if I actually managed to keep my vision myself or not, I would probably say yes. At this stage of me talking in my vlog, the film is pretty much looking how I was imagining it, with of course some additional unconceded in the beginning things, such as changes in the short list, which happened on set, sound and music, graphics and changes made to the script during editing. The script originally had more family drama in it and was going into favor of psychological drama rather than a suspense thriller. I, from the beginning, liked the idea of an imaginary friend and the variety it allowed me to express my directing skills through the amount of actors we had. The complexity of their personalities and the fact that I could also direct children for the first time. I also felt that the script gave me the possibility to express my creativity and be able to add and swap scenes around without harming the story and the message script writer wanted to pass on. However, I didn't want to confuse the audience with adding family drama element to it, and because it is a short film, I wanted to concentrate on the story of Liam rather than on the pain his mother experienced. Therefore, in the final project, although we filmed those scenes, there won't be a scene when his mother confesses the truth to Liam and cries beside his bed. The scene with kids running has been shortened and the part in the script when Jacob says Let's go this way, it's a shortcut. And Liam supposedly had to choose whether to follow Jacob or go his own way was also removed, despite we thought the scene was important as it portrayed a metaphor for Liam, when he chose to follow Jacob, man said he chose him over his parents and his real life. But this scene, when watching, didn't add anything important to a story and was also removed. It shows that my vision was followed by team members when deciding. Also, as a director, I can take a final decision. We were most of the time discussing the changes together and trying to justify the reasons for our ideas. Our DOP and me put a lot of thought in our image, the way the film will look like, to make sure that the shots we choose support the story and look visually entertaining and cinematic. We had a lot of meetings with Darren to come up with shots we want, choose the right equipment and accessories we need in order to create the shot we want, making sure that the time frame and the location allows the camera department to make the desired shot. Sometimes restrictions allowed us to be more creative and come up with alternatives. Very often Darren changes things on set and stops following the shot list, especially if the time allows us to go off schedule and in most of the times I let the camera department to improvise and give them freedom to explore the light and framing which can have double-sided effect. Sometimes it can work better than the original idea but sometimes we can only realize it in post-production that the problems it caused and it can become trouble to fix it. So in terms of cinematography there are a lot of Darren's and Morgan's signature in it based on my vision. In post-production I played a role of co-editor to help Denise to be more efficient and to deliver final cut on time. On one hand it gave me more power to express my vision, on the other hand it limited the amount of opinions of the team members put in the edit. I was able to make the necessary changes and choose the shots to make the final cut before it went to Suraj to do the sound and color grading. I mainly took the decisions with Suraj and Angel and it was then when we decided to remove some of the scenes in order to support our storytelling. 
I feel that the editing was very important in this film, even more than cinematography, because it manipulates the way we tell the story. It also shows the acting in the best way possible. The other main part of the film is sound. Although I had and still have many discussions with our sound designer and composer, what type of music needs to be and where, it is probably the department in which my vision is expressed the least. I left it up to Siraj to make the final decision on the sound. The composer, however, was very interactive in the way he works, and I have written him the list with built-in time code and references with the type of music I want.